Washington, the Senate confirmed more than 30 ambassadors and other Biden administration nominees early Saturday after Majority Leader Chuck Schumer agreed to schedule a vote on sanctions on the company behind the Nord Stream 2 pipeline that will deliver natural gas from Russia to Germany. With many senators anxious to go home for the holidays, Schumer, D.N. Why? threatened to keep the Senate in for as long as it took to break a logjam on a broad array of diplomatic and national security nominees. Rahm Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago, was confirmed to serve as ambassador to Japan by a vote of 48 to 21. Nominees to be ambassadors to Spain, Vietnam and Somalia were among those confirmed by voice vote soon afterward. The votes came after an agreement was reached to hold a vote concerning Nord Stream 2 sanctions before January 14. The confirmation process has proved to be frustrating for new presidential administrations regardless of party. While gridlock isn't new, the struggle to staff administrations is getting worse. Democrats have increasingly voiced concerns about holds that a few GOP senators placed on nominees to raise objections about foreign policy matters that had little to do with the nominee. The holds don't block a nominee from being confirmed but they do require the Senate to undertake hours of debate that could be used on other priorities. As a result, positions requiring Senate confirmation can go unfilled for several months even when the nominations are approved in committee with the support of senators from both parties. Biden administration officials acknowledge the president will end his year with significantly more ambassadorial vacancies than recent predecessors and that the slowdown of ambassadorial and other national security picks has already had an impact on you. S. Relations Overseas Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, held up dozens of nominees at the Departments of State and Treasury over objections to the administration's waiving of sanctions targeting the Nord Stream AG firm overseeing the pipeline project. The administration said at the time that it opposed the project but viewed it as a fait accompli. It also said trying to stop it would harm relations with Germany, 